So what we went over last class period, a circle we know comes in the form of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Correct? Yes. OK. And we know that the center is h comma k, and the radius is equal to r. All right? So in this problem, Wendy, did they give us, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't write it in there, but yes, this is the center. So did they give us the center? Yes. Did they give us the radius? Yes. Is that all we need to know to write the equation? Yes. So we're just going to plug it in. So remember, it's x opposite of h. So therefore, it's going to be x plus 1 fourth squared plus y opposite of k. So it's going to be plus the square root of 3 squared equals my radius squared. And then how do you multiply 5 square root of 2 squared? Well, when we look at this, Wendy, if we say, what is 5 squared? We know that's equal to 5 times 5, which equals 25. If I say, what is 5x squared? That is 5 times x times 5 times x, which equals 25x squared. So 5 squared of 2 squared, that just equals 5 squared of 2 times 5 squared of 2. Well, remember, you can multiply radicals. You can multiply the radicands and radicals. So therefore, this becomes 25 square root of 2 squared, which equals 50. So therefore, my final answer is x plus 1 fourth squared plus y plus the square root of 3 squared equals 50. Final answer.